Hey everyone, Nicole here with Cellbotics. So you're wondering if cell phone repair is a good career choice, right? Um, so I'm just going to give you my insight on it and my opinion and um, what I know about the industry. So first off, let's say yes. Um, but if you're looking at it, so you may be looking at it two different ways. You may be looking at it like a job that you go and get at a store or you may be looking at it like self-employment, where you are making your own money on your um, on your own, uh, at your own time, at your own pace. Um, I would say if it was for a job in the beginning, it might not be the greatest, right? If you're just wanting to take the course and then just go work at a cell phone shop, um, let's just be honest here, it can be difficult to get employed at a cell phone shop because it's not like Walmarts or Amazon distribution centers, there's not thousands and thousands and thousands of jobs for it, although there is a need for it. Um, you know, it's it's gonna be here or there, spotty, as you know, depending on where you live at, how big your town is, your city, and things like that. Um, also, you're not gonna start out making as much as you would in another industry if you were just starting out. Uh, so you may make minimum wage you know uh so it is to us it's not the best ideal just to go into a cell phone shop now if you were going to go work in an it department or work for the government then yes this would be a skill that you could take with you and um it would bring a lot to your resume and it would up your income right it would change the game for you right especially if you're in an it department um definitely a value added skill set but if you want to go work at your local cell phone shop or get batteries plus or something probably not the best thing you're not going to make a ton of money in the beginning now eventually once you become a part of the team and you're an invaluable part of the team then yes i mean i know some technicians make 20 25 dollars an hour plus they're doing commissions and bonuses depending on the performance of the store some of them have their own store to manage uh, some of them end up being partnered with the owner. So yes, long term, it, it can be good, but right out the gate, um, you may struggle a little bit if you're just looking for a job at a cell phone shop. Now, again, like I said, if you're going to look at an IT job, like we did a video, um, uh, jobs you can get after the device master's course and I will link that somewhere around here. Uh, you can go watch that after this. I'll probably link it at the end of the video. Um, and in the bottom you can go and we actually do a job search and so you can see the different jobs on indeed um so it's not that this is not employable it is it just depends on where you're trying to get your job if you're trying to do a cell phone shop may not be the best route um i would go with like an uh, a it department within a big company or something like that right um now if you're trying to do this when you say career if you're thinking of a business well this is amazing right uh you can't go wrong with cell phone repair if you know how to do it right and you start off correctly um some people will start on youtube and get discouraged because they break some things and then they feel like this is not easy uh, you know this can't be done this is too hard this is too scary this cost me a bunch of money I'm gonna replace people's phones so actually I feel like starting off on the wrong foot can actually hurt you so if you just start on YouTube and you don't actually get proper training unless you are someone who can follow YouTube and you're kind of technical and you know tools and things like that you may be able to make it work um, but if you're just starting out and you don't know I mean we get people that don't even know what a Phillips said screwdriver is you know and those are the kind of people that we really can help um, people that just are very beginner very raw maybe you fix some phones you broke some things and you're not too discouraged our course would be good for you um, but as far as doing a business yeah this is an amazing industry um, how many industries can you go into and um, every single person is either a customer now or gonna be a customer eventually you know maybe what beds I don't know, toilet paper you know <laughs> vehicles I don't even know that because a lot of people don't buy brand new vehicles uh, so you know Yes, this this can be an amazing career for you. Does it take work? Yeah, most definitely. Anything good doesn't come easy. If it came easy, everybody would be doing it, okay? So, uh, yeah, you have to put a little bit of work in. You gotta put some effort in. There's gonna be those days where you're like, what the hell did I get myself into? And then there's gonna be those days like, I freaking love this. And eventually, I love this will be your dominant view on this industry. <laughs> but yeah, it takes a little bit of time. Uh, so most people are making an average of anywhere from 60 to 
$80 per repair depending on what they're repairing and where they're located and that would be profit per repair most repairs take 15 to 30 minutes uh, there's a lot of other things you can do too it's not just repair there's a lot of other things that you can do in the industry to make money on top of your repairs and we teach you that as well as Subotics so I think that this industry is amazing. It's going to continue to grow. It's going to continue to mutate. So we will repair other things outside of cell phones and tablets, which we do start to cover in the Cellbotics course. We give you a little bit of intro into drones. We talk about uh, home robotics and things like that uh, and TVs. So there is a lot more that you can do with your skill set. It's not just cell phones, even though you're going to make great income doing that. And then you'll have more freedom. We have some students that do this around their other job, like maybe they have a career that they really love and they just want extra income. That's definitely doable. We have students that quit everything and go right into this. We have students that own stores, multiple stores, uh, are doing mobile. We have students that are traveling and doing repair. So you can pretty much go any way you want. And you might come to class not even knowing, and that's okay because we're going to give you so many ideas. It's usually, even when you do come with it, what you want, it changes while you're in class. We have people that come like, well, I thought I was coming here for one reason. Boy, this has just opened my mind up. So I think this is a really, really good career. Also commercial accounts, you know, there's dealing with commercial accounts, like big companies, which I'm not gonna give any information about that here because it's really something that we thrive on is that commercial account. And if you are someone who is business savvy and can talk to people in a meeting, commercial accounts will work for you. They, take, they do take more time to get and much more effort, but if you're someone who can put that in, then it's gonna work for you, okay? So yes, this industry is amazing. Again, do your research. Uh, if you're looking to get a job, I don't know. I don't even think you should do that. You shouldn't be working for somebody else. You wanna have freedom. And, and of course, some people, they get a job at a cell phone shop for a while to get experience and then they open their business. That's fine too if you wanna do that. We'll talk about non-competes and what to look for in your paperwork. If you're gonna work for someone, we'll talk about that in class. Uh, so I hope to see you in class. Check us out, subotics.com. You remember, you can book a free call with me or Michelle, the cell, um, computer repair trainer, and talk about class for free we just any questions that you have or if you just want to chat with us that's fine uh thank you for watching my video like and subscribe if you got this